change cups today for the uh, golf greens. And what you're going to need is you're going to need your cup cutter, which is you're going to need a cup cutter. You're going to need a cup auger, a spoon, and your flag that you're going to be changing. And you're going to need a cup setter. So you're going to need all these tools. I'll leave the links to these three items, not the spoon. This is just a kitchen spoon. So, these down on the green real easy. Hope you guys can hear me. And then uh, we're going to get our flag because we go by red, white, and then blue. So that's what we're changing. So then, we're going to find a spot, we have a drone up in the air to show you. So here is the original spot, as you can see from up above, and we're going to put it on a flat area, and yes, we do have a fungus, but we have a cup here, so we're going to try to find a flatter spot, somewhere right around where I just put my cup cutting stuff, so we're going to do it right there. So then what you're gonna do is I hope you can see that. You're gonna take your cup cutter. You're gonna place it down, make sure it's kind of flat. It is. Take it, pop it in the ground. And then you're going to just get as far as you can, like this. Then you're gonna pull and twist so it doesn't volcano the holes bad. Then the cool part is you can take then take your uh, auger and spin it and it gets all the way down to your depth of what the hole is which I do not remember um, and then you're gonna pull and twist then once you're done doing that you then walk over to your existing flag and you pull. I usually try to pull the cup out with the flag. Saves time in my opinion. Then, oh, dang it. Well, it's not saving time right now. Then you take that, put it in your new hole, just like so. Take your cup cutter, or cup setter, place it down like that. Give it a stomp, make sure you're pretty even with the ground which which I am spin it a little bit get it down in there so that should leave you about a half inch of a, um, a lip so then when the ball the ball will actually fall in there and keep it from kind of bouncing out then what you're gonna do with this you take this you will pour it in there like so Sorry for my camera skills. Still trying to get used to it. And we're gonna shout out the Mavic Mini for giving us the aerial view. Be cutting in and out to that. So then take your spoon and what you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop some of that back in there. Kind of even it out at the bottom. And even it out. And then you're gonna take a pretty nice size scoop for your uh, for your plug because it'll set a little hot when you first put it in there if you don't take anything out so then you're gonna just put that down in there like that and I like to take it smack it down a couple times then you take your take your handle and you pry up which you can't see because my camera skills are awful and then there you go, you have a flat cup, a pretty decent flat cup. It's not perfect by any means, but then you just take your foot, kinda do that. Now what I'm about to do is probably gonna make some of you guys cringe, um, but that's all right. I usually just take my foot, rub that sand in there like that. So then when the plug, because it's a sand based uh, green, it's not soil based, so 
it's it's kind of rough when you're when the sand is wet but then you just kind of rub it around yes it'll leave a brown spot but when the sprinklers kick on it will get rid of that so then the obvious thing is next is you're going to be taking off the flag holder which I think I'm just spinning it so give me just one second to get this off and then I think that drone's a little loud but that's okay take that off like that then we're gonna get our new one which is blue and then we're going to put it on like this like that screw are it's kind of cool we have one of those uh, rangefinder flag screw on things at the top I don't know what they're called but it's called that I don't know if you can see that probably not but it's called starty I guess and it's got these prisms in it so then you just drop it down like so give it a good push and there you go you have a new cup set and ready to go there's the old one and then there's the new one thank you guys for watching hope you guys like this video